This is Carolina AM. Welcome back to Carolina AM. These are the days you're going to wish you had smell a vision because Chef Jamie's in the studio and combining something that Abby was talking about just a few days ago because she and I both love uh, uh, breakfast for dinner. So now today, Jamie's going to be combining two of her th favorite things tacos and breakfast. And breakfast, yep. It's the best. Yes. What we got going on, Jamie? So we're going to make breakfast street tacos. And I got uh, the, what I already have prepared right here, what I got in a um, pan. I'm cooking up some onions, some jalapenos, okay. and some red onion. Right. Oh, I said red onion, red pepper. Red pepper. With um, a little fajita seasoning, salt and pepper. So I got all that in here with three eggs because I'm preparing three tacos okay, right well, now. I, now, explain something to me. I hear tacos and I hear people saying, well, it's a street taco because it sounds very trendy. Is, what's the difference? Okay, so street tacos are, um, I, I actually looked at the exact definition on Urban oh, Dictionary please, because I knew you were going to ask me. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> basically, street taco, it's for when you, like, when you go to like a food truck festival or something like that and you walk around eating it. So it's a smaller tortilla and it's easier for you to eat it. Oh, okay. So it's just like two, three bites and you finish it. And then you, traditionally it's served with corn tortillas and they put two so it doesn't rip. So when you're eating it while you're walking in the street. This is a long definition, <laughs> Jamie. You don't spill it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but I got, anyway. now I know what a street taco yes, is. Exactly. And we've got the recipe up on the screen there. I'll let yes. you finish there. Go so, ahead. Um, and then I made a little smashed guacamole. So instead okay. of making, uh, no, smashed avocado, instead mm -hmm. of making guacamole, just uh, beat up the avocado a little bit, yeah. some salt, pepper, um, cumin, thyme, and lemon juice and smash it up like that. All and right. then you put it on the bottom of the thing, so you, uh, the tortilla. So that's going to be your base? So that's going to be your base. It gives you a little creaminess. You can forego a sauce because it's kind of saucy too at the same time. Okay. It gives you that texture. And then I serve it with a little salsa. And the salsa, this is the salsa we serve at the restaurant, but you can serve it with your favorite salsa or you can make some if you want. And then we just top it off with a little cilantro. I love this. Now, Jamie so. didn't know this, but I've been doing this low carb thing. I've been watching this, Abby, and I've been talking about this. Now, this actually would be something that would work for the low carb because you're not only going to be getting a few in the street the, uh, the the small tortilla yeah and i mean if you even want you just put the eggs on the, and make like a bowl out of it put the guacamole down i even mean the, the smashed guac uh, avocado at the bottom and then pile everything else on top and you don't even need the tortilla if you really I don't want to eat it well you know as always when jamie's on the show she's making something that's easy for you to prepare at home uh, it's not going to cost a lot of money no not at all and it's it's going to be you know, able to make it fast and it's going to feed a lot of people yeah i mean i cooked only three eggs but you can put like six, seven, eight sure. eggs in there and be able to do it all at the same time. Yeah, good stuff. It's always great to have you on the Thank show. You. Welcome back. Love having you here. We'll be right back with more of Carolina AM.